Arsenal or Newcastle to win at Wembley next month. Yes, it was a rainy afternoon at Hampton Park for the football international between Scotland and England. The teams, however, were protected against the weather when they came out to meet the Secretary of State for Scotland, Mr James Stewart. Then it was time to get on with the match and George Young met Billy Wright for the toss-up. Almost in the moment they kicked off, Scotland took command. In one raid after another, they forced the visitors onto the defensive. Scotland indeed often came near to scoring, but even though they had their chances, goals eluded them. For England, Tom Finney was conspicuous on the right wing, but he was very closely marked. The match had only lasted about ten minutes when Pearson had a chance given him and took it. It certainly was a break for England, who found themselves one up against the run of play. Scotland worked hard to wipe out this reverse, while England felt inspired to increase their lead. As a result of one of their attacking movements, opportunity once more came Pearson's way. The crowd of 134,000 saw the teams change ends with Scotland two down. This was, of course, by no means conclusive and anything could still happen. The Scots were far from beaten and often had the English defence worried. Merrick made some excellent saves in the English goal and then at last, ten minutes from time, Laurie Riley scored for Scotland. But that was all. Once again, England had won at Hampton Park. Thank you.